Oh, buddy, do I have an exciting video for you. Who doesn't love lip swatches? I have 22 lip products to swatch for you right now. I didn't even realize I had that many new products in my collection until I just counted them. Um, I've been collecting these, both a mixture of things I've purchased and things I've received in PR for about a couple months now. I always do first impressions on my Instagram, so go follow me on State of Kate and watch my Instagram stories for quick applications and first impressions. But here on YouTube is where I give my final thoughts. That's really where you get the, the meat of the reviews. So. I'm gonna tell you all about the formulas of all these, but we're gonna focus it just on some faster lip swatches. So let's get started. I'm gonna go so fast through the first four because I've already shown them on my channel, but nobody watched the video. And what I'm wearing right now is my Finding Ferdinand nude lipstick that I designed with the brand. Um, all of the colors that I designed, they have in a blog post, and I'll link that in the description box below. Basically, you can just make your own custom color from the exact formula that I used. So I'm gonna take this off and reapply it. So again, this is the Finding Ferdinand Girl Crush shade that I made, and it's in the sheer formula. Isn't that my perfect nude? Oh, I'm so happy with this. I gotta remember I can't talk and lip swatch at the same time. I love that this is just so light and so sheer. It's got a little bit of brown, a little bit of pink. I could just do this forever without a mirror and it's totally fine. So if I were to recommend one shade that I created from Finding Ferdinand, it's the Girl Crush shade. The next shade I made is Juicy. I made this corally pink shade to be my perfect vacation lipstick and it has a strawberry scent, which is. Next, I have their scented lip balm in Feminist. Such a beautiful flushed raspberry shade. Mm. I just think it's so pretty. This is a really good wintertime shade for me. Next, I made the shade called Cocktail with a black cherry scent. Oh my God, if you're gonna get one scent, get the black cherry scent. Look at that. Mm. I designed Cocktail to be my perfect red. It's got some red in there, obviously. It's got some pink. It's got a little bit of brown. So it's just something I can make really sheer. And I could just do like a sexy blotted flushed lip, or I can build it up for a beautiful, beautiful bold red. Next up, I have a new product from Finding Ferdinand. This is their Color Transforming Lip Balm. It's really, it has this nice like magnetic cap. Love that. It is unscented. It looks like this. Mmm. It's thinner than their lipsticks. Feels really nice. Definitely similar to the Dior Lip Glows, but it's unscented and it's thinner. And it's very sheer at first, but you can build it up to like a hot, hot pink. No complaints here. Oh, I have a 10% off coupon code for Finding Ferdinand in the description box below if you wanna try them out. Next up, Laura Mercier sent me a bunch of products in a PR package that was very surprising and they sent me two lip products. So stay tuned for a full face of Laura Mercier, but in the meantime, I have this lip liner in rosewood, which is a very light uh, peach pink. So this is what the lip liner in rosewood looks like. It's definitely like a lot lighter than I would normally go for. I don't think that this pencil formula is anything particularly groundbreaking. It's just like a standard pencil lip liner. But I was very surprised by this lipstick and it's their Rouge Essential Silky Cream Lipstick. And if you look at it, you can see this is definitely not so much a me shade. At least it's looking a little bit darker in my camera, but on me, it's like very peachy pink, light, light, light. And I am blown away by this formula. You know, this color is definitely something super fun for spring, but not something I would very much gravitate towards. So the name is perfectly described. Look at that indent that I already have from the lipstick. It's so silky that it just melts immediately. 
onto your lips. It's so thin and lightweight. I, I don't even feel like I have a lipstick on. I'm not much of a lipstick person because I don't generally like how heavy and makeupy they feel. This formula has completely blown me away. I really hope that they have a good range of nudes because I gotta get my hands on this formula. I mean, wow. And I mean, the color is pretty too. It's just like quite a bold, you know, pastel-y, peachy pink shade. But wow, this formula, you guys have got to check out. It's fragrance-free. Thank you, Laura Mercier, for introducing me to the Rouge Essential Silky Cream Lipstick. This formula is crazy good. Next up, we have a new product from Kinship. Uh, if you don't know Kinship, they make my favorite sunscreen, which is the Kinship Self Reflect. Um, this, I got a little, a little info slip. This is the Super Melt Vegan Lip Jelly Mask. It is $18. It is cruelty-free and vegan, and it is supposed to be a two-in-one lip treatment with melt-in hydration and gentle exfoliation for softer, plumper lips. So it has papaya enzyme that's supposed to gently exfoliate your lips. It has microspheres at three molecular weights to hydrate and plump the lips. And then it has sea buckthorn berry, which is an antioxidant vitamin and omega fatty acid rich super fruit that protects and restores the delicate lip barrier for long lasting hydration. Okay, love the color of this package. If you didn't know, this is my favorite color along with yellow and Here's my favorite thing about it. So it comes with this applicator. It's like a squishy silicone, which is really cool. Juicy. For those of you who like the look of a clear gloss, but don't want the feeling of a gloss, this would be a really perfect product for you. Um, beyond the cute little squeezy applicator and the color of the packaging that I love, I love that it's really, really glossy and shiny. It also has a very, very subtle fruity smell. There's no like added fragrance or anything like that. I think that just comes from the natural like fruit enzymes in here. But I like lip products that are scented personally. Um, I don't like anything else on my face to be scented. I don't want scented skincare. I don't want scented cleansers, scented makeup or bronzers or whatever. I love scented lip products though. So. If you don't like any type of scent or you do like a scent, I think this will work for you because it's so, so, so subtly fruity. To me, the name Super Melt definitely makes sense and jelly. It's got that thin kind of like jelly texture. Think like the Tower 28 lip shines, but instead of a jelly gloss, it's like a jelly balm. I don't agree with this being like a lip mask because this is such a thin, lightweight lip product, it actually feels a lot more like a serum to me. It feels like it should should have been named like the Super Melt Jelly Serum. This is the kind of thing that is so thin and lightweight. I think you can already see it starting to sink into my lips, which is great because it's effective and it's like juicing up those lips. Um, but to me, a lip mask, what that insinuates is something thicker and stickier that's gonna last a long time like a mask. I don't know if that's just my perception based on what previous masks I've used, like the Agave lip mask or the Laneige lip sleeping mask that are much, much thicker and last a long time. But regardless, this is really, really nice. Just know that you're not getting a thicker, stickier lip product, very thin, very lightweight, the kind of thing that I would keep in my desk or my car, uh, or in my purse and I can just apply on the go. I hope you notice I'm trying to be like lightning fast. Next up, I purchased this ColourPop Just a Tint in the shade City of Stars after Matilda on video did a makeup bag review of Lana Candor, I think is her name. She's an actress from that Netflix show, the one about the love and the letters. To all the boys I loved before, that one, that actress. Matilda speculated that one of these three lip products was in her bag. So I bought three of them and this is City of Stars, which is my favorite. It has a very intense, like sweet tarts scent, very sugary, very strong. And these are incredibly pigmented. So if I wear it like that, I think it's really pretty and I think it really goes with my makeup right now. Um, this is just kind of a peachy terracotta that I think is really, really nice. Yeah, a terracotta peach is the perfect way to describe it. 
Um, so this is how I like to wear it, but these are so pigmented and so melty. I think you can see that like just by applying that, it kind of like already melted the tip of the applicator. So you can see that that indicates it's very thin and you can like really build these up. Um, the reason I don't love them is because they are so thin, they're a little bit oily and, a, and because they're so pigmented, I think that makes them a little bit of a trickier product to work with. If they're so thin, I would have liked a more sheer finish. Um, or if they were so pigmented, I would have liked a little bit more of a stiffer, thicker formula. So I had a little bit more control and I don't feel like they're slip sliding everywhere. They're just like $5 or something. So uh, can't be too mad about that. My other favorite is Cutie Fruity, and I might describe this as a roseberry or a brown berry. It's definitely like a darker red, but with some berry and a little bit of brown in there, if you get what I'm saying. This one's much more pigmented. It's a shame because I think these colors are so perfect but the formula is just so pigmented. So if you have darker lips, you might actually really love the ColourPop Just a Tint line because they're very pigmented right out of the gate. If you have more fair skin like I have, or if you just prefer more sheer products, maybe give them a skip. And if you're sensitive to fragrance, definitely skip these. Lastly, we have a Go Go, which is out of the three of these, definitely more of a berry. So you have City of Stars, a terracotta peach. You have Cutie Fruity, which is like a brownie rose. And then you have a Go-Go, which is like a berry, I think. This is the most pigmented. Look at that, one swipe. It's just too pigmented for me, you know? I like products I can apply without a mirror. Yeah, I just don't like it at all. These are stunning colors. The formula is so nice and lightweight, even though I do prefer like thicker, more nourishing lip products. Um, I think the formula is really nice because the color just slides on really easily, but just too pigmented for me. So I think I will be getting rid of these two and I'll be keeping City of Stars because that one is a lot more subtle. I'm worried people aren't gonna watch the rest of this video, so I've decided to just go ahead and apply my favorite new lip product, which is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Velvet. It's described as like a mauve, but it is definitely not. It's just straight up cool toned pink but I freaking love it. I mean, this stuff, there's like a slight minty strawberry scent, which is really nice, but it's very subtle. It's got this applicator that just hugs your lips, like a little hug from heaven. Oh, in the gloss. Mm. So thick, so nourishing, sticky which means it lasts a long time. And it is one of the only glosses I own that actually fills in my lip lines. What that means isn't that your like lips are getting bigger. It means that it just softens those vertical lip lines that I have. What's most amazing about this is that I feel like it makes my lips look younger. I've started noticing those vertical lip lines kind of getting higher and higher on my mouth. Like you see with older women, and it's something that started really bothering me. And when I wear this, it just makes the lips look so shiny and gloss-like. There are a few products out there that kind of fill in the lip lines a little bit, but this is the best. You can see, if you're not careful, if you apply too much like I did, you will get that, that gloopiness. It is thick. A few like thin, non-sticky lip products, avoid. But I love, <laughs> I love this. So just do. I think this color is also really beautiful. They have Daisy, which is a lighter pink, which is interesting to me because this is like so clearly a cool toned pink. I don't know how the lighter one would look, but I love this. I can't stop reaching for it. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. Every time I wear this, my boyfriend says I look amazing. It's incredible. What I will say was I can't remember the price of this, but it was very expensive and I uh, actually paid for this with a gift card so I didn't really care 
but it would be a little bit tough to swallow the price of this uh, if I didn't have a gift card. I would gladly repurchase it though because it is so freaking good. Um, I got a sample of the clear one like a while back with a Sephora order and I didn't like it, but I think that's because my lips are so naturally pale that any type of clear gloss just kind of makes my lips look white and so it's not very flattering, but I think this is the perfect formula with a little bit of pigment. So. Uh, definitely check out the shades Daisy and this is the shade Velvet. I desperately hope they expand the shades and they include a red, a berry, and a few different nudes from light to deep because this kind of formula deserves a full range. Like I feel like I look good with this on, you know, like I, I look at myself and I'm like, I want to keep looking at myself. It looks good. Damn. Next up is a lipstick that I got for free in my MAC order. This is the Powder Kiss Lipstick and Devoted to Chili. I placed a MAC order a few months ago and I forgot about this and I forgot to review it. Uh, it's a beautiful color. It's got that kind of silicone-y powder matte slip to it. You all know I'm not a bold lip person. Uh, I just like to be able to like drink and eat and not worry about shit sliding all over my face and my teeth. But if I were, this is the kind of shade I would reach for and the kind of formula it's, um, I don't wanna say it's like not drying, but it feels really comfortable uh, for a matte lipstick. This shade devoted to chili, oh, it is an orangey red of my dreams. I didn't even know I would like an orangey red shade. I feel like all of this is working together with the orange eyeshadow and the hoops and the, the leopard print. Like, woo, ready for summer, are we? When this video goes up, I'll actually be on vacation in Florida, visiting my parents for the first time in two years. And I might even bring this with me because I feel like it makes my teeth look bright. It just is so flattering. I might actually wear a bold lip. This is amazing. If you like matte lipsticks, I would definitely recommend checking out the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick. It is slides right on because it's got a little bit of that like silicone-iness, which is that kind of powder that they're referring to. It just slides right on, but it, it doesn't get messy on me. I can also do the blurred lip thing and kind of just like, just make it kind of like, a flushed, like nice little stain, you know? I am really blown away by this. I haven't been reaching for it. And now that I've tried it again on camera, I definitely need to. Next up, we have five new lip products from Fit Glow, four new lip serums. Actually, sorry, this one already existed. Three new lip serums, Beam, Bliss is the one that already existed that they sent me over. Cheer and then Rise. This is Beam and it's described as like a golden hour shine. So there you have Beam. It's just a clear with a ton of silver and gold glitter. You can't feel the glitter but the particles are quite large and you can see it. So it's kind of fun. I personally don't love glittery lip products, but I like that you don't feel it. That's really where I draw the line with glitter and lip products. But I mean, man, that just makes it look really nice. Okay, yeah, so I took Beam Off and there's like a glitter overlay. I don't, I don't like that. So that might be the only Fit Glow lip serum that I haven't liked before. <laughs> no offense, Fit Glow. I mean, you've made so many lip serums. There's gotta be one that I don't like at some point. This is Bliss, more of like a metallic, like, yeah. Yeah, so this isn't glitter. This is like frost. Ooh, do you see that? That was like adding a freaking light beam. That's fun. Ooh, I gotta wear this. This is a fun one. This is so not something I would normally reach for. And I said the same thing about the In Beauty Lip Glaze in Frosé, the like pink frosty one. 
I might be a frosty lip girl. I don't know. Like, you tell me. Does this look cute? Does it look as cute as it does on me in person? It's like, it's like a tan meets a champagne with a ton of frostiness. I feel like it makes my lips look really juicy and kind of cool. What do you think? This is Bliss. And this one, Bliss did not leave any glitter or anything on my lips. It's just like super frosty. Next, my two favorites that they sent over, Cheer and Rise. Now, I'm gonna show you how they look like on their own, but I prefer to wear them with a little bit of brown lip liner and I'll show you why. First, this is Cheer on its own. So bright. <laughs> wow. Cheer is what I would describe as like a bold magenta. And now I'm gonna take it off and show you what it looks like with a brown liner. I'm taking my favorite lip liner from Citizen Cosmetics in the shade Duh. So then I take Cheer just a little bit in the center. ASMR. And with that brown liner, don't you just get that gorgeous, bitten, kind of like blurred, two-toned lip? It's basically like that K-beauty trend of just putting the lip color in the middle and kind of like rubbing it out. I just think that that's how this bright ass pigmented shade can be wearable. And I've been reaching for this all the time. This is the product I was wearing in my Mala, the brand candle haul. And I was actually wearing it with this eyeshadow too. Now I'm going to show you the new shade rise. Mm, look at that. Damn. Rise is a medium coral. They have kind, which is like a creamy light, peachy coral. Then they have Rise, which is a medium coral. Then they have Spark, which is a deeper, way bright, almost neon reddish coral. This is my favorite of all of them. This is my Goldilocks coral. Kind is a little bit too milky on me. Spark is a little bit too intense. This is perfect. Even though I do wear this one on its own, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with a brown liner. Shout out to Citizen Cosmetics for making the best lip liner of all time. Now, Fit Glow Rise in the center. Isn't that so nice? I just feel like the lip liner makes my lips look a little bit bigger, a little bit juicier. And it's just a brown liner is a perfect way to just tone down a bright color, you know? Shit, all these colors are so bright and I'm really liking them. Do I need to wear bold lips? Identity crisis. We aren't even done. I got another one from Fit, Fit Glow. This is their lip liner in red now. Thank God, because I didn't own a red lip liner before. Let's do this formula so creamy. It's not like the Laura Mercier lip pencil, which is kind of that like drier, older formula. This is so creamy. Mm, that color. It's like a bright pinky red, blue toned red. I soften my Cupid's bow always just a little. Right there, I don't like how sharp my Cupid's bow is. On its own, this color would be beautiful, but they sent this with the shade Cherry. Oh, I forgot to mention the lip liners from Fit Glow come with this little brush, which is really helpful with the shade. You know, I always kind of thought lip brushes were dumb. This is pretty helpful though. So that's a Fit Glow Lip Liner in red. Let me go grab the lip serum in Cherry. As the name suggests, Cherry is a cherry color. Oh yeah. Oh, man. Woo! She is here and ready for summer. 
Vaxed and waxed, baby, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> shit, that's really beautiful. Lastly, in case you didn't watch my two recent videos, I have the Glossier Ultra Lips in products from Beauty Pie. First, this is the Glossier Ultra Lips in Villa. Mm. So nourishing and a thicker, stiffer lip formula, but the more that you apply it, the more it melts and gets glossy. Villa was described as like a dusty mauve or a dusty rose on their website. I disagree with that. Um, I said all about my thoughts on the launch in my Glossy Ultra Lips video, but Villa really is just so much more of a pink than anything. But I love pinks, so that's okay. So this is Villa, love it. Again, for like a freaking 20 minute review of the Glossy Ultra Lips and a comparison to the M Cosmetics lip cushions, go watch that video. Um, but this is my favorite, Lucite. Never in a million years would I have thought I'd buy this kind of a color. This is what I wanted all of them to be because this is the sheerest. It's just like, you can just go like this, like an idiot and just be like at your desk, like, huh? and it never gets too far outside your lip lines. Like it would never get like messy. This kind of baby pink, I've never reached for this kind of shade before. I always thought that was kind of like an 80s vibe. You know, like the really light frosty lips. But I just think that Lucite is so pretty. And so compared to Villa, you can see this is way sheer. This is what I wished all of them were, but Glossier is clearly trying to be more inclusive. So adding more pigment to their lip products makes sense. It's just not that like easy, barely there makeup that Glossier is known for, but Lucite is. Cute. Finally, two of my favorite products from Beauty Pie. And I'm so annoyed because I have two more lip products coming tomorrow from them in this range of the collagen lip oil. But first we have their Future Lux Shine Lipstick in Bruised Berry my perfect shade. I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up well enough, but it is like sexy flushed berry, but not in like a berry purple way in like a red, pink, natural lip berry. Mm. Smells incredible. Vanilla. Love it. Look at that shade. That's what we call a me shade. This, I don't know if I said, is the shade Bruised Berry, and it's got a little bit of that shine. It's very comfortable. It's not too thin and slippery. It's the perfect product to keep at my desk because this color just kind of goes with everything. It's the color I wish my natural lips were. It doesn't migrate outside my lip lines, and it's very comfortable. So loving this from Beauty Pie. Lastly, my number one pick from Beauty Pie is their Collagen Lip Oil, or it's their Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil. This is in the shade Spicy Pink, again, Delicious vanilla scent. Love that like clear wand in the plastic applicator or the flexible applicator. Oh, this is a thin formula done right. You guys know I don't love thin lip products because they tend to not be as nourishing. They don't last very long. They migrate outside my lip lines. This one doesn't. This is the only really thin lip product that I love. It smells amazing. It's just like a combination of a liquid lip balm, a lightweight lip oil, and a gloss. Spicy pink, as you can see, adds just like a flush of, I kind of want to say like a peachy pink or almost like a soft, very sheer coral, you know, like barely their color. Um, but it just, it has collagen, it has hyaluronic acid to fill in the lip lines. It feels comfortable, but it's very lightweight. So if you're someone that likes the nourishment of a thicker formula, but you want something more lightweight, this is amazing. Wow, we did it. That was a lot of lip products, 22 lip products. And I got such amazing formulas that my lips feel amazing. Can you tell that lip products make me so excited? Like when have I had this much energy in a video? I did not have this energy before this video. I just freaking love a good lip product. So if you made it this far, God bless you. Good for you. Thank you. And, uh, 
hopefully I'll see you next time.